Today I'm right on the beach here in East Boca Raton at Cloister Del Mar. Let's go take a tour. The Cloister Del Mar condo is located just east of A1A on the ocean, south of Camino Real and north of Hillsborough Boulevard. The building is 0.6 miles to Camino Bridge, which is like two minutes away. You can basically walk. And it's 1.6 miles to Hillsborough Bridge, which is like five minutes away. So it's really easy to get on and off the island, whether you're heading north through Boca or you're heading south through Deerfield Beach. Cloister Del Mar is in a pretty desirable location. Just to the west, across the street, are multi-million dollar single family homes, and it's really nice to take a walk or bike through that neighborhood. And then just to the east, the building sits right on the beach, and it has amazing views of the ocean. To the north is South Inlet Park and Boca Raton Inlet, which the building also has incredible views of. And to the south is Deerfield Beach and Deerfield Pier, which is really nice to spend time and go out and enjoy the beach and the atmosphere. On top of that, you're less than six minutes from everything downtown Boca Raton has to offer, such as Meisner Park and Royal Palm Place. Cloister Del Mar is located in an A-rated school district. The schools are Boca Raton Elementary, Boca Raton Community Middle, and Boca Raton Community High. Cloister Del Mar was built in 1969, 18 stories tall, with 96 units. There are six units per floor in this building, and there are three elevators. Each elevator services two units per floor, so residents here get a semi-private experience when they enter their elevator and go up to their floor. On the north side of the building, all the units have a shared catwalk where they have incredible views of Boca Inlet, South Inlet Park, and the beach. Additionally, the building intends to do a full impact window installation in the near future for every unit. Now let me show you some examples of some floor plans and units in this building. Units in this building will range in size from 1,300 to about 1,900 square feet with two to three bedrooms and two to two and a half bathrooms. All the units that I've seen in this building do not have a split floor plan, meaning the bedrooms are all next to each other. Now let's walk around the property and check out all the amenities. When you pull up to the building from A1A, residents will enter their underground gated parking garage and park in their assigned parking spot while guests will park above ground but enter through a 24-7 call box. While I'm walking around the garage, I think it's worth pointing out that residents are allowed to store some of their bigger stuff, such as paddle boards and kayaks, right in front of their parking space. Not all residents park in the underground garage. Another important note is that every unit gets its own private storage. The condo association's property is nicely landscaped and clean, and it has a decent amount of guest parking out front. The pool area, which is right on the beach, and the building also offers shuffleboard and a picnic area and a place to grill. Now real quick, before we go inside and I show you the rest of the amenities that this building has to offer, let's take a quick walk out to the beach and enjoy the nice ocean breeze. As I mentioned earlier, this building is right next to South Inlet Park. So you can walk right out of your building and stay on your private beach, or you can walk a little bit north and enjoy South Inlet Park and watch the boats come in through the inlet. The main lobby, the club room, and the kitchen area have all been redone. It's really nice, and it overlooks the pool area and a little bit of the beach. I also like the gym. It's a nice size, it's got a good amount of equipment, and it's really clean. Let's go over some details about the condo association. The condo association fee will range from $950 to $1,450 per month. There are no pets allowed in the building, so it's a non-pet friendly building. And you cannot rent for the first three years of ownership, and then after that you can rent one year, and then you're not allowed to rent again for another three years. It's very unique. Units have sold in this building between $450,000 and $650,000, but right now there is an active listing for $1.75 million in the building, so we'll see how that goes. Now let's do our classic condo amenities checklist to see how this building compares to others in the area. Condo amenities checklist, item one, concrete restoration. Item two, assigned deeded parking. Item three, private beach. Item four, deeded pool. Item five, are pets allowed? Item six, washer dryer in unit allowed. Item seven, doorman. Item eight, fitness center. Item 9, Sauna. Item 10, Game Room.
Congratulations, you completed seven of the 10 items on the condo amenities checklist brought to you by Florida Homes Boca Raton.